main event of the evening here at Hard Rock MMA 99. 195 pound title on the line here. Portland Pringle, the challenger, coming up representing four seasons MMA at Lexington. Has five submission wins, four via TKO. On a four fight losing streak, looking to pick up, keep his record above 500, but he's got some tough losses in that. Dom Steele, Chris, Chris Curtis. Curtis. Jeez. Also, John Gunther is on the Ultimate Fighter currently. Lost to Rob White, Bellator veteran, Rocky Edwards, Bellator veteran. So he has always been a guy who's known to, to be willing to fight just about anybody. And uh, tonight, just about anybody comes in the way of Billy Mojo Horn. Fourth title fight of his pro career for Portland Pringle. Billy Horn, affectionately known as Mojo, 16 and four pro career, 40 years young for Mojo, and is on a, I believe it's seven fight win streak dating back to 2012 when he won via submission against Trey Houston at Bellator 78. You talk about a guy with a big fan base. Oh yeah. Billy Horn has got plenty of fans. Always brings a crowd, still going strong at 40 years young. Representing Drive MMA and Gracie Cincinnati. Ranked as the number one light heavyweight and number one middleweight in the state of Kentucky. We saw that win at Hard Rock MMA 95 over Julio Gallegos to win the title. Mojo is very savvy when it comes to jujitsu. He trains with Professor Jim Kelly. And has to be considered the favorite for the fight tonight, probably via way of submission early. What do you think, David? Yeah, I think so. You know, Pringle's a guy, very few of his fights let go the distance. Mojo's a guy, a lot of stoppage wins. Also, his teammate Keith Freilich just picked up a victory in his pro debut a couple weeks ago in Pittsburgh. But Mojo's a guy been around a really long time. As I mentioned, still going strong. He sure is. Seven, si seven fight win streak is eight is, fight. I'm win. sorry, eight fight wrong. win streak. Looking to make it nine. Main event here at Hard Rock MMA 99, Portland Pringle and the black Billy Mojo Horn in the red. Rob Mooney is your referee for this light heavyweight title fight. Two longtime veterans of the sport of mixed martial arts. Come on, 40 fights between these two guys. Jab there from Pringle lands. Mojo immediately in on the clinch, trying to get the takedown. Looking for the trip. Elevates. Pringle able to stay on his feet for the time being. Nice knee there from Mojo. Pringle got to watch grabbing the shorts. 
not legal to grab your opponent's shorts. It is legal to grab your own shorts. Horn with that underhook on the right side. Gonna try to change levels here. Another nice knee there from Mojo. Got nice shoulder strikes. Such an inexact science you saw as Mojo snuck a little punch in there and went right back to the grip. Yeah, he's definitely a, a crafty veteran, I think, is the... He kind of defines that. Sure, that term. certainly. You look, you see him minimizing the distance here, uh, keeping it close. Clearly, Mojo wants to take this to the ground. And 12 submission wins in his career. Just one via TKO, and that was due to the injury with uh, Julio Gallegos in the last fight. Pringle trying to get his back off the cage, but Horn just too strong here. Still in the clinch up against the cage. Another nice knee there from Horn. Two and a half minutes left in the, the first round. Pringle looking for. Now as Horn's back up against the cage, but Mojo has those double overhooks. Now digging for that underhook, another nice knee. Now they're talking to each other. Almost some interaction with the crowd and, and Mojo and Portland, everybody in on it. Mojo trying to. Wow, head kick. Mojo showing he does has, have the stand up skills. He just wants to take this to the ground. But he can certainly bang if he has to. Horn digging that underhook again. Gonna try to grab the neck here, maybe look for a guillotine from Horn. Pringles. Tough to finish from this position. Tees off there a little bit. Does Mojo. Pringle looking to try to throw that left hook. Pringle successfully avoided being taken to the ground, and now he has what he wants, which is a, a, a slugfest. Yeah, landed a nice uppercut there on Mojo. Mojo almost looks agitated that Pringle's kind of <laughs> drawn him into a firefight. He said, hey, if you want to strike, let's strike. It's not what I wanted to do, but let's do it. Nice knee to the body there from Mojo. Looking to try to trip Pringle. Again, looking for the trip, but Pringle's able to stay on his feet. Finally gets a takedown, does Horn, already in side control. Only about 15 seconds left in the round. Horn, uh oh. Postured up and. Pringle How immediately gave him his back. Kind of surprised how easily Pringle gave up his back there. Mojo looking to try to finish, unable to. Portland survived the first round. Yeah, it took Horn about four and a half minutes to get it to the ground when he did. Immediately got the back, but unable to finish that choke. Interesting first round there. Kind of a stalemate until that last 30 seconds or so. 
think you gotta go with Mojo winning that first round though. Especially with that takedown, almost definitely took his back, almost had the submission there at the end. Plenty of crowd interaction with Mojo Horn here. Yeah, his fans definitely will talk to him. They said, look, I heard one fan say, we got stuff to do, let's go. In this night. Body shot there from Pringle. A little bit of a firefight here. They clinch, Pringle releases there. Overhand right there from Pringle. A lot more striking than we've seen from Mojo in recent fights, but that's kind of because Pringle's almost forcing him into that type of fight. To Portland Pringle's credit, he's doing a good job of avoiding what Mojo wants. It, it, Portland showing good balance, good takedown defense, that's what it is. Now Pringle here with the pressure up against the cage. Horn doing a good job digging that underhook. Putting Pringle back on the cage once again. We're gonna try to get this trip takedown here right in front of our broadcast position. Now has the back here of Pringle. This is where Mojo Horn will just wear you down. Looks like he has one hook in. Mojo completely disregarding the fact that the cage is even there and continuing to go for the takedown. Looks like he has a rear naked choke. Can't tell if it's locked in yet, not fully under the chin. Might not be quite low enough. Looks like it's on his jaw. Probably doesn't feel too good for Portland Pringle. Pringle trying to turn into Mojo here from this position. See the great camera angle there. As Mojo works to try to get this rear naked choke locked in in the second round. As both hooks in, you see him stretching out the body there of Portland Pringle. Pringle doing a good job here though, fighting the rear naked choke. Mojo switches to the body lock here. That's gonna cut off the, the breathing, make it hard for Pringle to breathe here from this position. One thing you'll see is Mojo won't exert a ton of energy, squeezing energy until he feels like he has the choke completely locked in. In this backpack position here. For Mojo Horn. Looks like he might have this here. Still looks like it might be on the jaw. You can get a tap on the jaw sometimes. Yeah, gonna be tough against a, a really veteran fighter though, like Portland Pringle. Sure. Pringle now on top though. Mojo looking to work off of his back. Try to throw an elbow here from this position. Looks like some blood on the top of the head. Mojo Horn can't tell if that's from him or if that's from Pringle. Mojo doing a good job staying active off of his back. Pringle hasn't had a ton of offense so far from the top. Now Mojo with the butterfly hooks. Pringle still heavy on top here.
Pringle throwing a couple shots here on top. Definitely been the best offense from Portland Pringle thus far. Mojo looking to try to grab his leg though here. A couple of hammer fists there from Portland Pringle. What we see there from Mojo Horn is technique, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. This is what I see there is he's using his legs to keep the distance and minimize the damage that Portland Pringle can do. Definitely keeping that posture. Yes. Keeping him also having to work to stay on top as well. So it's hard for him to, to throw offense. Safe to say, David, the majority of the people in attendance tonight felt this would be a quick out for Portland, Portland Pringle. Yeah, you know, it's, it's tough because he's a, a really tough veteran guy that, you know, regardless of the record, he's, he's faced some really tough guys. So sometimes you look at the record and then when you look at it, you say, oh, he's fought Chris Curtis, he fought <laughs> Dom Steele. That's a great he point. He fought John Gunther, he's fought some really tough guys. When you see that, when you look, take a look at that, you know, he's probably a lot more battle tested than what his record kind of shows. And a guy who also has 10 wins as a pro. Both of these guys have been around for a long time. The final round here of this title bout. Portland Pringle trying to steal a victory and steal the title here away from Mojo Horn. That second round was a little bit closer, I think, than Mojo wanted it to be. Slip there. Looks like there's some water on the mat. Portland Pringle slipped. Yeah, and Mojo being the respectful professional, not uh, not taking advantage of that slip. Left hook there from Mojo lands. Left hook straight right. Another straight right there from Mojo. Pringle swinging from his hips. Both guys now just starting to stand and trade here in the middle of the cage. Mojo saying, come on, let's right do hand it. There from <laughs> My Pringle. God, what a Landed. brawl. Not how I expected this fight to turn out is a brawl between featuring Billy, Mojo, Horn, and Portland Pringle, but. They're pro fighters for a reason. These guys like to fight. <laughs> nice kick there from Mojo. Pringle now looking for the takedown. See the crank here from Mojo, trying to get his back off the cage. Trying to turn Pringle and does. And body lock here, clinch up against the cage. Horn looking for the trip, takes the back again here of Portland Pringle. Gonna try to drag him to the mat. Looks like the knee here is open if he wants it. Mojo wants this to the ground ASAP. Yeah, Pringle doing a good job though, staying tough and staying on his feet. About two and a half minutes left in the third and final round of this pro title fight for the 195 pound weight class. Pringle now with the pressure up against the cage. Mojo sprawling, trying to stay on his feet. Nice knee there from Horn. Pringle. Again, this is a 
the, that second round, as you mentioned, was pretty close. Horn looking to try to crank that left arm up. Gonna be looking for Kimura. Doesn't really have the grip. Now he has the grip. Gonna be tough to finish it from this position though. Especially against a strong guy like Portland Pringle. Trying to stay active off of his back. Or his back on the cage. A little bit of a stalemate here in this position. Pringle still trying to finish this single leg takedown. Not a lot of time left here in this fight. Become a tough battle of wills here in this third round. Horn still looking for that Kimura. Again, this is a really tough position to try to finish a Kimura. Pringle finally almost drags him to the mat. Almost in full mount here. And that's the fight. fight. That is a lot closer, I think, than a, you know, a lot of people expected that fight to be. That third round, did Pringle do enough to steal that round? And if so, did he do enough to win that second round? I think the first round was definitely for Horn. Very interesting fight. See uh, what the judges think here. This main event. Tabulating the scorecards here. Jason Weinel with the official result. <laughs> wow, so judges gave rounds two and three. You got to think to Portland Pringle. The momentum you saw started to change in the middle of that second round. Ever respectful Billy Mojo Horn. Didn't like the result, but uh, tough result, but you know, super veteran guy. Even after a loss, he had a smile on his face. He And I heard him come over to the corner and say, I just couldn't get him down. I tried for yeah, the better part we, of three rounds. We gotta rounds. give Portland Pringle credit for great takedown defense and a stubborn game plan. It worked. And thank you for joining us at Hard Rock MMA 99. What a great fight card. For Kelly Patrick, I'm David McKinney. Thanks for joining us.